Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. Topic number nine, job practice. Square groove weld, butt joint, flat position with filler metal. The objective of this job practice is to acquire the skill necessary to produce quality square groove welds on 16 and 11 gauge mild steel in the flat position. The deposited welds should completely fill the joint to form a convex face. The weld symbol for this topic indicates a single square groove weld with a small reinforcement on the root side of the joint. A 1 32nd inch root opening is used for the 16 gauge mild steel. For the 11 gauge, a root opening of 1 8 inch is required to achieve full penetration. The filler metal is E70 S3. Material, 16 and 11 gauge mild steel. Electrode, 1% thoriated tungsten, 1 8 inch diameter. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Filler metal, E70 S3, 1 16th inch diameter for 16 gauge and 1 8th inch diameter for the 11 gauge. Equipment, power source, AC-DC combination. Collet and collet body, 1 8th inch. Nozzle, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 50 to 60 for 16 gauge, 85 to 95 for 11 gauge. Hot start, 4. Post purge, 10 to 15 seconds. High frequency, Automatic. High frequency control setting, 50. Gas flow rate, 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, 1 to 2 electrode diameters. The butt joint used in the first part of this topic is composed of two pieces of 16 gauge mild steel. Space the plates with a 1 32nd inch root opening. Be sure this spacing is consistent. The 1 16th inch diameter filler rod should not be able to fit through the opening. Now, place a 1 quarter inch tack weld at one end of the joint with filler metal. Lay the wire at the edge of the joint before starting the arc. Now, place the workpiece on a set of plates, sometimes called shims. The joint should be located in the center of the space between the plates. The tack welded end of the workpiece should be at your left if you are right-handed. Position a third plate at the end of the joint. During welding, the argon shielding gas tends to flow down the joint and escape, leaving the root open to oxidation. By placing a plate at the end of the joint, the gas is trapped under the joint and protects the root. Position the torch at the right end of the joint if you are right-handed. Use a 90-degree work angle and a 20-degree push travel angle. Angle the filler rod 20 degrees up from the joint. Start the arc and form the weld puddle. Touch the tip of the filler rod to the leading edge of the puddle as you move the torch along at an even rate. Maintain a 1 16th inch arc length. At the end of the joint, release the foot pedal and hold the torch stationary for post purging. The finished bead should have a face width of about one and a half electrode diameters. There should be full penetration to the back of the plates to form a slight reinforcement. 
The butt joint for the next exercise is made up of two 11-gauge mild steel plates. This weld will be deposited in two passes. First, set the machine for the proper current, 85 to 95 amps. Then, select a 1 8 inch diameter filler rod. Position two 11-gauge plates to form an open butt joint similar to the 16-gauge procedure. Use a 1 8 inch filler rod to space the plates for a 1 8 inch root opening. Then, place a 1 half inch tack weld at one end. Realign the joint for a 1 8 inch root opening since the tack weld causes the joint to shrink slightly. Now, use two pieces of 16 gauge steel to shim the workpiece off the table and allow full penetration. The tack weld should be to the left. Place an additional plate at the end of the joint to prevent the escape of shielding gas. Position yourself so that you can deposit the weld in a comfortable manner. Deposit the first pass with a 90 degree work angle and a 10 to 20 degree push travel angle. The filler rod is held over the joint axis at a 20 degree angle. Start the arc and move along the joint with a smooth travel speed. Add the filler metal to the leading edge of the puddle. Watch for the puddle to sink slightly. This indicates that you are obtaining full penetration. Move at a speed to produce a concave face and full penetration to the back side. A root reinforcement of flush to 1 16th inch maximum is required on the back side. Now, from the same position, deposit the second bead with the lay wire technique. Make a special effort to hold the filler rod over the first bead. If you hold the rod firmly between your thumb and fingers, you can roll the rod in either direction as required. Move the torch with a V-weave or a U-weave motion as you fuse the filler metal into the joint edges. Move from the joint edge forward to the center of the bead to melt a small portion of the filler rod. Then move to the opposite edge. Repeat this procedure for the entire weld. The finished weld should be convex with smooth edges and no undercut. There should be good fusion at both of the joint edges. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.